And now it's time for the biggest award of the night. This one's for all the marbles. The grande enchilada. The ultimate battle. The mother of all game awards. The final countdown. I think that's probably enough. Good, because I'm out. Okay. Well, there were so many great games in 2007 that paring down this list only six nominees was an arduous and heartbreaking task. Seriously, almost every game nominated for any award tonight could arguably deserve a place on a Game of the Year list. But it's our job to make the tough decisions and hand out the accolades to only the best of the best of the best. So here are the nominees for X-Play's Game of the Year 2007. Assassin's Creed. One of the most evocative games ever. This fully realized trip back to the Crusades provides gamers with a new type of stealth game and one of the most unique games this year. Bioshock. A shooter like no other. This underwater horror period piece creates one of the most beautifully compelling action games written for a thinking audience. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This is gonna be one hell of a highlight reel. A powerhouse of action and technology, this stunning simulation refines its gameplay to perfection both on and offline. Halo 3. A monumental end to one of the most significant modern gaming franchises. Honed to perfection and filled with goodies, it shines above its predecessors. Mass Effect, the ultimate nouveau RPG. This sprawling tale and universe put the player in the middle of one of the best stories in any game. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? And gives them unprecedented freedom to play. Super Mario Galaxy, platforming perfection with a grand return to style in a game that refuses to stop inventing and never falls flat. And the winner is... Bioshock. Bioshock. <laughs> no other game in 2007 created such a rich and involving world or delivered equally visceral gameplay. Bioshock is full of moments that stick in your mind. The arrival at Rapture, the first Big Daddy fight, the Sander Cohen sequence, meeting Andrew Ryan in person, it's set piece after set piece. Well, here to accept Bioshock's numerous awards via satellite is lead designer Ken Levine. Hey, Ken, congratulations on this. That, thanks, Adam. Um, I was just everything. curious, um, when, when you first started working on this game, did you ever anticipate the amount of critical and commercial success for it? Well, we've, we've always been, we've been really lucky with the critics for a long time, and we, we really appreciate that. And with Bioshock, one of our goals was to all, be as successful with the public. So I think the, we're really gratified by the, by the critical success, but at the end of the day, the, you know, the consumer is the biggest and most important critic. And so it's, to, get, to get both is, is really the, the grand slam for us. Now, does it give you any type of satisfaction that when you're going around trying to sell this, objecti this objectivist period shooter that you know, <laughs> those people said no, and now suddenly you're seeing one of the best games of the year? Well, you know, I think one of the things that Bioshock represents, you know, I think we get so much criticism as an industry of that we're like a bunch of brain dead mouth breathers and game, gamers aren't intelligent and they just like killing things. They don't care about anything else. I think one of the great things that Bioshock says is that, hey, ga gamers are interested in, t in, in, in thinking. Gamers are interested and interested in, in topics other than blowing people up. And, you know, I think one of the great things about Bioshock and one of the great things about gaming is you get to have your cake and eat it too. You get to have the monsters and you get to have a little, little thinking to go along with it. Now, I'm curious, of, of the entire game, is there a certain part that really stands out for you as your proudest moment inside of it? I, I think um, the moment for me that was one of the hardest to do and I think it's one of the moments that works the best is when you're first introduced to the, the concept of the, of the little sisters and, and, and how you're going to, and the decisions you're going to have to make with them. And Tenenbaum's talking in one ear and Atlas is talking the other ear. And that was a really hard scene to get right. And the team with, with, with Sean Robertson and the animators, um, you know, they worked really hard and that scene really pulled together. Well, you know what, Ken? Once again, you so deserve this award. We love the game. I can't wait to play it again. Thank you so much for joining us. And that, thanks for everything, Adam. Thanks for all the support. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.